10 tips you can use to build a quality house cheaply in Kenya. In essence, to build an affordable house. For most people out there, it is a dream for them to own a house. And this is so because there is prestige that comes with calling a property you are on. And even for others out there, they can have the propensity of even unlocking rental income, whether immediately or even in future, because of that real estate asset which they have built. You are all much welcomed to the Money Daily YouTube channel. My name is Afagza Sifunam. And by the way, if you are new to this channel, kindly remember to drop a like on this video and also subscribe for you to be getting such awesome videos regularly. Having said that, here are the 10 tips which you could utilize for you to be able to build an affordable house in Kenya. Tip number one, have a simple design. You know what, guys, houses out there come in different assortments. For example, we have mansions, we have townhouses, we have family houses, you name it. At the end of the day, each of these different designs and even the sizes call for different budgets out there. In essence, they call for different amounts of money. So you need to keep the design very simple for you to be able to execute to the actual design and be able to utilize the money to the budget. Because if you have a complex design, chances are you won't be able to fulfill what you intend to fulfill within that budget. And then, a second tip is for the house to be affordable, we look at it as an entire set of real estate. Also, the land upon which you're going to build the house needs to be affordable. And of course, I'm assuming, for example, you don't have land yet. In case you have land, well, you can bypass this process. But if you don't have land, you need to get land which is also affordable. And most of the times, assuming everything is constant, land prices are driven out there because of perception and also because of brokerage fees. So you can, for example, get land at affordable rate through either purchasing from directly from the owner or even through companies, cooperatives, which land, land out there at fair prices. And also another thing you can do, for example, is to look for areas which are very accessible to your point of, for example, work, but also these areas are kind of virgin. They haven't really been discovered that much and people are not really talking about them that much. In essence, their prices haven't really been driven way, way up because of perception. And with that, you might as be able to get an awesome piece of land at a very affordable price. And that's going to be the basis of you building an affordable house. And then the third tip, which you can utilize and ensure it is to the latter is ensure you purchase materials yourself. Guys, when it comes to building houses, the two major points people are called a lot are at the point of purchasing materials and also during construction. So cover the base of purchasing materials. Purchase materials by yourself. And this is going to ensure two things. First, it's going to ensure that you get quality materials. And secondly, it's going to give you room to bargain. Negotiate the best you can for you to be able to drive down the prices. More so in case you're purchasing in bulk. It's going to really go a long way towards driving down the prices of the house which you're going to be building. Compared to living a function with someone out there, they can, for example, go out there, collaborate with even hardwares, and even collaborate with other people out there to call you and more so, they can even get substandard quality materials. So purchase materials by yourself for you to be able and also to be very sure that you're getting the best deal and at a very negotiated rate. And then, tip number four, which also relates to tip number three, is that consider hiring some equipment and tools which aren't that essential per se for the continuation or even for use post the construction. To give you an example, things like, for example, hammers, things like wheelbarrows, you name it, even things like mixers, why not consider hiring? You could find, for example, people out there go all the way out to purchase each and every equipment and tool, and yet they can have these for just some days at a way cheaper rate. That way, you're going to save a lot in terms of cost you're going to incur constructing that particular house. This is so because by you renting 
these different pieces of equipment and also tools you won't really go the extent of purchasing them which can even be more than three or four times the cost of renting and through that you'll also be able to save a lot in this particular construction and then the fifth tip which you could look to implement is possibly avoid building your house during rainy season and this is so because as we're all aware most of those off-road most of the times in Kenya, when it rains, and even in some regions, we have that thick, sticky loam soil. So this means that even mobility and accessibility is going to be quite a challenge. And with that, it's bound actually to drive up the prices of construction. This is so because cost of things like, for example, transport, and even some materials out there could be scarce because of the logistic challenges that come with rain. So the best ideal option is you constructing when the weather is not that wet out there. In case it's way too rainy, chances are some of the costs are going to be driven up because of the inconveniences of rain. Best time for it to construct, and in fact the perfect time, is when it is dry. Try as much as possible to construct when it's dry for you to be able to cut off on these other costs driven up by rain. And you know why am I saying this is a determined in all the parts of the country. Of course in some parts, all this could remain constant. But... In a good section of the country, we see this challenge when it is rainy. And then, the sixth tip which you could look to utilize is ensure you supervise the construction. Guys, this assumes, for example, you're not working somewhere full-time. For most people out there, this could be a challenge. That's, that's why even guys, for most people out there, in case they're employed, they usually take weeks of leave for them to provide the construction of their houses. And this is so because, as I mentioned, this is also another area where people experience loss of pilferage of material and even exchange of different things in the construction materials. So ensure just beyond you purchasing the material by yourself, also you are on the site for you to be able to supervise the construction. By doing that, you're going to actually ensure that everything runs smoothly and you get the quality which you actually purchased yourself as opposed to for example pouring materials on the site and then leaving it for the foreman to go ahead with the work chances are you're bound to incur some losses there so ensure you supervise the construction for you to be able to maximize on the benefits of you building an affordable house and then the seventh tip which you could look to utilize is be open utilizing technology times have really evolved and even we have different pieces of technology out there which make construction much easier which assist in driving down the cost to give you an example for example using a technology like for example interlocking blocks this could actually save you a great deal when it comes to construction you can utilize technology be open technology and in fact guys technology is evolving day in day out so look to jump at whichever form of technology that's out there which is going to work towards ensuring driving down the cost and actually enhances efficiency during the construction process. Through doing that, you're going to be able to drive down the price of construction and ultimately, you're bound to get an affordable house which actually you're going to pay a very reasonable amount for as opposed to even estimates for the most, most ideal and finished form of houses out there. And then, tip number eight which you can utilize, and I fully encourage you to utilize it all the time. You know, most of the times they say, cheap is expensive. Yes, it is. We're aiming to build an affordable house where we're getting quality at a cheap rate. But also, don't compromise on bringing the quality of everything together in a very pristine way. That's why you need to engage services of professionals. Yes, engage services of professionals because it's going to go a long way in ensuring what you build is very formidable and also it's going to leave a test of time. And by the way, for most people out there, they think that the cost of engaging professionals out there is extremely expensive. It isn't that expensive per se. And chances are actually you could even engage services of professionals out there at just under 3%, 5% of your total budget, which I think is fair. For example, building a house of, let me say, 3 million Kenya shillings. Why not even spend 50k to engage services of professionals who are going to ensure that the entire structure comes together very well and is built upon the rightful basis? So engage services of professionals out there 
for you to be able to maximize the benefit and build a very robust house. And then the ninth tip when it comes to constructing an affordable house is all the time follow the law. Yes, we have requirements out there with regards, for example, permits, clearances, ensure you follow all these for you not to get in trouble. And of late, we've seen, for example, in Kenya, most of in urban centers, even we're seeing apartment buildings out there and even individual unit housing units out there come down. Mostly because they were built by not engaging professionals and also not getting the necessary permits out there. So ensure you get the necessary permits so as not to get a loggerhead with the authorities in whichever area you are in or even with the national government. So comply and even in the long term, in case anything happens, all the time you're going to be covered because you followed the law right from the onset. Right? And then the tenth and last idea I want to discuss with you is that also in constructing an affordable housing financing is key. Maybe you don't have all the money required to construct. You are out there seeking possible kitties to assist you finance the house. Guys, look for affordable financing which has an ideal tenure. Right? You can seek, for example, banking financing. Look for financing which has an affordable tenure and also ensure you plan your affairs very well in order to can pay it. And in case, for example, you're going, for example, for loans which relate to mortgages or even tied to asset financing, also ensure you have a way of paying because it will be a very heartbreaking scenario in case you build a house and then after trying to pay for a few months, the position goes back to the bank fully because you cannot continue servicing a financial obligation. So look for the most ideal option and once you get it, run by it and all the best in your endeavors to build an affordable house in Kenya. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you got a tip or two which you're going to implement in your quest to build an affordable house in Kenya. Bye-bye and you all take care.